I love stones. These ones here are over three billion years old. They're, they're some of the oldest stones in the world. They've been washed smooth on a beach in Scotland. They're so smooth and so round that if I was to throw them, they would fly straight and true exactly where I wanted them to go. Of course, you shouldn't throw stones because you might break a window. In our story today, someone is very, very good at throwing stones with, with a sling that he used to whirl around and around and around his head. It was his job, you see, looking after sheep and scaring off wild animals that might come to eat the sheep. And he did that by throwing stones at them. His name was David, and David was a shepherd. David was small, but his brothers were big. So when the time came for the Israelites to fight against the Philistines, who'd come to conquer Israel, David's brothers had to go, leaving little David simply to look after the sheep. However, being a shepherd was a dangerous job. If hungry mountain lions turned up to make a meal of his sheep, David would have to stand as tall as he could and see them off using his favourite weapon, a sling. He'd take a stone, the smoother the better, to make it fly straight and true, place it into his sling, whirl it around and around his head and fire it off. And on his day, David could knock a lion out cold. David was the best of shepherds. Goliath wasn't just big, he was huge. Bigger than two of David's brothers stood on top of each other. And when the challenge came to fight one to one with Goliath, no Israelite brave enough could be found. That is until David came visiting his older brothers, bringing food from their father, Jesse. I'll fight him, he said. His brothers laughed, you're too small. You're too weak. But David had faith in God, the faith of his fathers, Abraham, Jacob, and Moses. What he lacked in size, he made up for in heart. So David went out to meet Goliath, armed only with his favorite weapon, a sling. Goliath threw back his head and roared with laughter when he saw little David approaching, but David slipped one of those smooth round stones into his sling and whirled it around and around his head. And when Goliath had finished laughing and looked back down, it was just in time to see the stone that was to hit him square in the middle of his forehead. He fell to his knees and dropped to the ground with a thud that sent shivers down the spines of all the Philistines, and they ran for their lives from little David. As for David, his reputation in Israel grew with his size as he got older and grew up, and he eventually became the greatest leader that Israel had ever seen, the greatest king that Israel had ever seen, and the best of shepherds, but to people, not sheep. Wow, the great big giant Goliath didn't know what hit him when he met little David, did he? I think a good symbol for today would be a sling and a stone, don't you? To remember little David, the shepherd boy. Goodbye. <laughs>